November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and the Southwest Type 1 Sharps took a head start on fundraising and raising awareness of the illness with their annual JDRF walk in Swift Current. Supporters of all ages met at the rec center for a range of activities prior to the walk, including children's games and photo ops with the Swift Current Legionnaires. Donna Yatsky is one of the Parents and Sharps Committee members and says her group hopes to raise awareness and funds for a cure of type 1 diabetes, which is now on the rise across Canada. She explains the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Uh, type 2 is uh, it's the most common form of diabetes that there is out there and it's actually reaching into epidemic portions in, in globally. The difference is type 2 can be related to lifestyle factors. It can be related to uh, lack of exercise and your nutrition choices that you are making. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that just affects or attacks their bodies, that um, uh, attacks their insulin producing cells like the beta cells of their pancreas. So that weight just leaves them totally independent for life. So they wake up one morning to discover that they have diabetes and they are totally dependent on insulin. The day's event was extra special for Danielle Bonadega and her daughter Tasman. The two and a half year old was the walk's ambassador as she too has type 1 diabetes. Bonadega says her daughter's diagnosis has been life altering for the entire family as the need for several insulin injections per day has now become a regular routine. We pray for a cure. Um, it would mean the world to us if she didn't have to poke herself and give herself insulin. So um, the more money raised, the better today. The goal for 2011 is to raise $7 million across Canada through similar JDRF walks. Final numbers from the Swift Current event have not been tallied, but the Southwest Type 1 Sharps group hoped to raise $30,000. Further details on the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation Canada are available online.